Hi students, welcome to your class 11. I officially welcome you to class 11 English subject. My name is YVK Swami. I teach English for you all. I teach English for class 11A and 11C. So I welcome class 11A students and class 11C students officially to this classroom. We all know that our Kendri Vidyalaya Hebbal, not only Kendri Vidyalaya Hebbal, all over India, teachers are taking classes using Microsoft Teams. So I will also take classes using Microsoft Teams without any doubt. But why I am going to use YouTube? The reason why I use YouTube platform to communicate with you all is See, when I am teaching or when I am using Microsoft Teams to communicate with you, to teach you online classes, sometimes there may be a network issue from my side or maybe from your side. So in that time what happens, I will be speaking from my side but you can't hear me, you can't see me on your screen. So, so many students they complained me while I was taking online classes for class 12 and class 8 because of the poor network connection from their side what happened they can't hear me when I'm teaching so to solve that issue I'm using YouTube platform but I also use Microsoft Teams to teach regular classes but this YouTube videos are additional so that whenever you want to watch these YouTube videos you can come back to YouTube platform and you can watch these YouTube videos it's a kind of a revision so that is the reason why I'm going to use both Microsoft Teams as well as YouTube to take online classes for class 11th A and 11th C students. But once I upload videos on YouTube, these videos will remain available for each and every student all over India and they can uh, you can watch this video without any kind of problem. So this is the reason why I am using YouTube platform as well as Microsoft Teams to take online classes. <music> Now moving on, in this class what I am going to do is, I am going to introduce you the split up syllabus for class 11, Bangalore region. Of course this syllabus or split up syllabus is almost all, all regions of Kendra Vidyalas are following. So there is no problem if you follow this split up syllabus for 2020-21 designed for Bangalore region. So I am going to share the split up syllabus link also in the description box below as well as in the Microsoft Teams also. So you can download the PDF file and you can save this pdf file in your computer you can check the split up syllabus whenever you want to see and we will follow the split up syllabus meticulously to complete the english syllabus and next one uh, textbooks you have two textbooks to study first textbook name is i mean main textbook name is hornable and the second textbook or supplementary textbook name is snapshots you don't have any kind of long reading text or any kind of novel in class 11 so two textbooks you have to study the main textbook name is uh, Hornbill and the supplementary textbook name is Snapshots. So this is about the split up syllabus and about your main textbook and supplement textbook. Even the link for the main textbook and supplement textbook is also given in the description box below. You can download the PDF files and you can save the PDF files in the computer or in mobile phone. And I will give you some model question papers also. The links in the the links for the model question paper are also given in the description box below. You can download the model question papers. <laughs> As of now, we don't know whether the examination is going to be conducted online or offline at the end of your session. So we will be ready for attending online examination as well as offline examinations also. And one more thing I would like to share with you before I start the uh, first poem from your main textbook. You have 80 marks theory and 20 marks ASL. That means ASL means assessment of listening and speaking skills. For listening skills you have 10 marks and for speaking skills you have 10 marks. So total listening and speaking skills 20 marks you have. I am going to take online examination for listening skills as well as for speaking skills. So in your question paper you will get theory part for 80 marks and for ASL you get 20 marks. So total you have 100 marks paper. <laughs> Okay, one more thing I would like to clarify to you all before I start the poem directly. Uh, maybe my way of communication may be different from the way your teachers communicated in your class 10. So it will take some time to get adjusted to my way of communication. Generally, I speak a little fast. So you may find little difficult in the beginning. But once you are used to my way of communication, within a few days you will get used to my way of communication. I don't think there will be much problem if I speak little fast. See, English language should be spoken little faster it should not be spoken like our native languages so i hope you will get adjusted to my way of communication now without any delay let me start the first poem from your main textbook 
hornbill but before i start the poem let me ask you one question if you want to know what you did in the past say for example uh, what you did exactly in your last birthday or previous birthday or last year how could you know how could you uh, see what you exactly did in last year what is the source of the information can you travel back into the past to uh, see what you exactly did then what is the source of the information how can you know what you did exactly in the past can you quickly tell me what is the source of information how can we check our past back living in the present if you know the answer comment in the comment section below quick yes exactly when we watch the old photos stored in our mobile phone or in our computer will come to know how exactly we did and what we did exactly in the last birthday so photographs or photos are the ready reference or source of information for what we did exactly in the past so the name of the poem which i am going to start in this class is a photograph written by shirley tolson as it is a poem first i will read out the entire poem then i'll explain the poem stanza by stanza so first let me read the poem if you have textbooks open the textbooks if you don't have textbooks at least open the pdf file and listen to me what i am reading and how i am reading a photograph shirley tolson the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with a camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both rhyme with the labored is of loss now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silence so this is the poem written by shirley tolson the name of the poem is a photograph now let me explain the poem stanza by stanza the main theme of this poem is about how the poetess shirley felt for the loss of her mother in the first stanza the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling so the cardboard means the photograph in that photograph when shirley the poetess watch her mother in that photo the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling so in that photograph she could see her mother very young with her cousins and they went for paddling paddling means walking in a shallow waters each one holding one of my mother's hands so there were three girls two are very young and these two girls are holding the hands of the poetess mother each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so so her mother is the uh, big girl means elder girl and she is 12 years old all three stood still to smile through the hair at the uncle with a camera so their uncle was taking the photograph and these all three girls were standing in front of the camera and they were posing for a photograph through their hair means generally in beach there will be a lot of air windy so the hair is moving here and there on their pallor or their forehead a sweet face what is sweet face here here the poetess compares her mother face very beautiful my mother's that was before i was born so when shirley's mother was very young when the poetess mother was very young she was very beautiful and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet here the poetess compare the permanent sea and the temporary lives of her mother and the sea which appears to have changed less so there is no change in the sea because it is permanent washed their terribly transient feet so when these three girls are standing in the water near the beach the beach waves washed their terribly transient feet so so here we can understand poetess is stating that the life is temporary whereas the nature will live permanent now let's move to the next stanza some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach in second stanza when mother saw the photograph 
After 20 or 30 years later, she would laugh at the photograph and say, see Betty and Dolly, she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach. So, because when we look at our photographs in the past, our dress generally looks old fashioned. So, in the same way here also mother laughed at her the way they were dressed to the beach holiday. The sea holiday was her past. Mine is her laughter. Both rhyme with the labored ease of loss. So here what happened? After a few years, a poetess lost her mother and she lost her smile also. Both rhyme with the labored ease of loss. Even her mother also lost her childhood and the poetess also lost her mother. Both have suffered from the labored ease of love. Mother has lost her childhood and poetess has lost her mother. Moving on to the third stanza, now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all, it silence, silences. After few years, poetess has lost her mother, here it is said that now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. So the girl might have lived in the photograph for 20 or 30 years, so she has lost her mother equal to the same number of years the girl lived, her mother lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all, it silence silence. So when the poetess has lost her mother, there is nothing to say, so she remains in silence. There is nothing to say at all, it silence silences. So this is about the theme of the poem, a photograph written by Shirley. Now what you have to do is, first you have to practice loud reading. So read this poem loud three or four times, then read this poem silent once or twice. Then come to think it out questions, read the questions one by one and locate the answers given in the poem and write the answers to these questions. So this is about the poem, a photograph written by Shirley. Tolson. So this is the way generally I take online classes using YouTube platform and simultaneously using Microsoft Teams. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching this video and always remember stay home, stay safe and stay strong. Take care.